In this example, we have a classroom with 13 girls and 15 boys. They are going to elect a president, vice president, and a treasurer. And we want to figure out what's the probability that if we just uh, randomly elected students to those positions, so we just randomly selected three of those students, what's the probability that all three of them would be filled by boys? Now, because we have this random selection, every student has the same chance of being a president, vice president, or a treasurer. So I'm going to let E be this event that all three selected are boys. So to calculate the probability of E, we just simply need to count how many ways E can occur over the number of ways possible, the number of ways that we can simply select three students from the, the entire class to be president, vice president, or treasurer. In this case, as we're counting, the order matters because if Sam is president and Tom is vice president, we could have another possibility be by Tom being president and Sam being vice president, and including the treasurer there too if you want to make it more complex. So to count the number of ways that E can occur, I know I'm looking at a permutation because that ordering property. So the number of ways that E can occur is going to be out of the 15 boys, we need to select three of them. And so we know the formula for uh, the NPR is N factorial over N minus R factorial. I have 15 factorial over 15 minus 3 factorial. So simplifying, I have 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial, all over in the denominator 12 factorial. So the 12 factorials cancel each other out, and we're left with 15 times 14 times 13. The number of ways that we can select stu uh, three students in those positions, again, is a permutation, but this time we can select any three from the total class, and so that's going to be 28, choosing the three. And so we have 28 factorial over 28 minus 3 factorial as the number of ways that can occur. 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 factorial over 25 factorial the 25 factorials cancel each other out and that leaves the result as 28 times 27 times 26. So the probability that E occurs is the ratio of the number of outcomes in E over the number of ways that we can simply elect the three students which we found was the number of outcomes of S 28 times 27 times 26. And now it's just a matter of simplifying this down. 13 divides into 26. Uh, 14 divides into 28, and that goes two times. And now I have uh, 15 and 27 here. 3 divides both of those. So 3 goes into 15, leaves me 5. 3 goes into 27 nine times. My answer is going to be in the numerator. 5 and in the denominator uh, 2 times 9 times 2 so 4 times 9 is 36. So we have a 5 out of 36 chance that if we were to randomly elect students that all three of those positions would be filled by boys and that might be a relief to a teacher.